Good morning, guys, on day seven on the Camino Frances 2.0. Today is gonna be a short 15 kilometer day to the town of Melide, where I already made a reservation. It is eight o'clock, I'm waiting for my two friends to uh, get out of their private pension, which is not far from here. Uh, first week down, man, it has gone by so fast and walking with friends has just made a world of a difference. Of course, I don't get to film as much as you guys are used to, but you guys have seen this stretch already uh, from the vlog series that I did a few years ago. So yeah, it's gonna be a rainy day, as you can tell. <laughs> but with a 15 kilometer day, we'll get there just in time. I already have breakfast, but the rush at the cafes, at the bars is just uh, unbelievable. So many pilgrims trying to get a bite to eat and there's limited space because of the COVID regulations. So there's like every other table, you can't sit there. So, but you know, I managed, I got my cafe con leche, my orange juice and the croissant. I left uh, my power bank at the albergue behind because I haven't used it once in the seven days that I've been here. You guys already know that uh, the first few days out here, you start to discard all the things that you're not using. That's why I don't like to do gear videos before my Caminos. I think you should be on the lookout for the ones that are post Camino, where people can actually tell you what they used and what they didn't. Check out the group of uh, pilgrims that we were walking with yesterday. Yeah! Every day we're bumping into like the same people. <laughs> yeah. And right now, we are right next to one of those horreos from Galicia. I don't know if you guys remember, this is where the farmers use them to store the grains and then they have this set up so that the rats can go up there and snack on it. Today's been another one of those days that is just full of pilgrims. The caravans just uh, rolling by, we let them pass, and then we have the Camino all to ourselves. We're doing a half a stage today, only 15 kilometers, so we should be there around one or two. It all depends how many stops we make along the way at the bars. Because, you know, it's bar hopping here, I guess, for the next uh, few days until we make it to Santiago. It's almost uh, noon already. We stop at a bar where I have my second breakfast. I decided to get some uh, eggs and bacon because the croissant that I had this morning did not do the job. And while we were there, we had a blast dancing salsa, uh, listening to all kinds of music. We spent about an hour in there. And up ahead, we got uh, another milestone and that is crossing from the municipality of Lugo to A Coruña, where Santiago uh, lies. We are three miles, three miles, about six kilometers away from Melide, so we should be there around, I don't know, 3 p.m. 
at the pace that we're going, who knows. We're having a blast here on the Camino de Santiago, seeing it from another point of view, and that is always a good thing. Stop really quickly at Casa Soma to have a, a lunch break right at the border between uh, Lugo and A Coruña. We had some drinks and some uh, tapas and just talking about everything. I tried to upload the first video once again because they have Wi-Fi and of course it didn't happen. So I keep hearing you guys asking me when will you be able to see these videos? Well, by the time you see this one, I'm probably back home and it is uh, September of 2021. Sorry, I really wanted to daily vlog from here and upload it, kind of like what I was doing on the AT, but just the Wi-Fi situation here is just not, not good enough to upload a 4K video. So we'll keep waiting for the technology to catch up and maybe in a few years I'll be able to do it the way that I want to do it now. We still got, uh, what is it, like six kilometers to Melide, so we are a little bit over the halfway point. Looks like it's gonna rain. Maybe we'll catch a break. But the ladies are putting on their poncho already. All the pilgrims have passed us by. I mean, most people are just going to Arsua. So yeah, let's get to Melide. The last push starts now. Oh, why do we always need to get a rain before arriving at the city, at the destination? Just made it to uh, Melide, right there behind me, with a mural on the wall, and the rain is just starting uh, to pour, stronger than it has been on the entire day. We have had a couple of like minor uh, drizzles, but not a big deal. So yeah, made it to town, now let the hunt for the Pension Star. Gotta figure out where it is. Gotta use Google Maps, not Google Earth. I think I'm around the church. Got to, got to fly the drone for one last time, but at least it was uh, over that beautiful bridge. And now, guess I'll have to put it away until tomorrow. We are a few days away from Santiago. The ladies are taking it slow, so tomorrow we're getting to Arzua, then from Arzua to Opedroso and then the final push to Santiago de Compostela. We should get there sometime in the afternoon of Saturday. cleaning all my clothes that I haven't uh, washed in the last couple of days. Today we got here to Melide under the pouring rain and we went straight to a pulperia where we had some Galician uh, squid, caldo gallego and sandies all around. From there I went straight to uh, my pension where I checked in. I have a very nice room with a shower. I also had to go across the street because the ring that I bought, I have just lost so much weight that look at this, it's just falling off my fingers right now. So I had to go to the store and get a second one, a smaller one. So hopefully I won't have to get a new one later on down the line. So that's where I am right now. The end of the first week here on the Camino Frances, having a blast with my friends. I know that you guys are probably suffering because I'm not filming as much. Right now, I'm transferring footage here with my tablet and by the way the wi-fi at the hostel at the pension is not bad at all and i managed to upload the first episode so seven days later 
I uploaded the first episode. You know, that's why it's not gonna work out, but you should check out my Instagram account where I'm posting every single day. At least there you get a glimpse of what I'm doing and where I am. Enough blabbering around. I guess I'll see you all tomorrow, nice and early, because tomorrow we're getting to Arsua. And that is a town where the Camino del Norte, or the Camino Frances joins the Camino del Norte. And uh, I've done that already twice. So see you tomorrow.